Live and local with Big Papa in the morning, Mix 102.5 on a Mental Wellness Wednesday with Life Coach Rebecca Silence, RebeccaSilence.com. Rebecca, good morning. How are you? Hi, everyone. Let's make some magic happen. All right. Let's talk about drama. <laughs> Not just any drama, but the drama that happens at work. Because when drama is happening at work, it can absolutely not only affect your work life, your work productivity, your career, how much you're getting paid, but it also can affect your personal life as well. So if there is drama, drama at work, what are some good ways to kind of get through that? Yes, this is a great topic. So drama at work doesn't have to be an experience you have. Even if people are running amok and there's a lot of drama going on. Let me explain what I mean by that. I don't think that we're even aware, especially when it's coworkers or our own team that we're managing in a bunch of drama. Most people don't understand. You don't have to get hooked in and be part of that circus. It really isn't your circus and it really isn't your monkeys. And you can observe drama without being in it. And that is a concept that I think is life changing that I don't know if anybody really ever talks about. You can observe drama without being in it at work, at home, anywhere. That's the first major point here. The second is either you're part of the solution or you're part of the problem. So you can observe and not be a part of it and also not be a part of the solution or you can observe and not be part of it and be part of the solution. So instead of letting your time and energy get wasted, thinking about and talking about what everybody is doing that is not cool, not okay, drama, 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 drama. What would you like to be different? <laughs> what if we spent the time instead of on the problem? What's the solution here? The thing about drama is there's always a reason why there's drama. It's not out of nowhere ever. In 16 years of private practice work, there's never been a client that came to me with a workplace drama that wasn't really because of something. There's there, There's disconnection, rather, miscommunication, people being overloaded and not having the resources to succeed, people not knowing what the priorities are, people not knowing who they can actually count on for what. Nobody's job description is clear. These are just some examples. But the point is, there's always a real reason why if there's drama and there's a real solution. So you can also be thinking about a solution and bringing it to the person or bringing it to management, but you don't have to take it on. And if you see a problem inside of you somewhere is a solution. And if we can, instead of going, these people are wrong or bad, or this shouldn't be happening, go, well, it's here for a reason. So there must be a solution that will benefit everyone if we just take the time to uncover it and find it absolutely and if you want to hear more about it uh go to mix 1025.com and you'll hear the entire segment right here on a mental wellness wednesday um all right so now that we wrapped up the the, the radio segment portion of it let's talk about if someone is you feel targeted yeah because a lot of times that happens you know, so-and-so is throwing me under the bus. So-and-so is coming after my job. So-and-so this, so-and-so that. And, and you feel like there's a bullseye on your back. Mm -hmm. What do you do that? Yeah, I'm thinking about a client I had that came to me in tears because someone else had gotten a promotion and she had been there longer and she felt targeted and she felt just completely disrespected, frankly. And one of the things that I asked her was, does your management even know you wanted the promotion? And that stopped her in her tracks because she had not communicated that she even wanted it. She just expected it because she'd been there the longest, but she never said, hey, I want this job. What would you need to see from me for me to get this position? 
What can I do to show you this position is perfect for me, meant for me? So if you're feeling targeted, have you communicated what you want, whether it's a promotion or, you know, to be put in a different department or to have someone on your team, whatever it is, have you communicated what you want? That's the first thing. The second thing is, if it's just literal workplace drama and people are being mean, talking behind your back, not being there for you in a way where you feel like you're part of the team, but instead you feel ostracized by the team, that's real. And that happens. And here's what I want to say about that. Leadership means you're putting yourself out there. Leadership is not a popularity contest. So if you're being targeted, here's what I know. You've ruffled some feathers because of your leadership. Let's not make that a bad thing. We're not here to be popular. We're not here to be liked. We're here to get the job done. And then, of course, we want to have healthy workplace relationships that feel good. We want to feel part of something. We want to feel like a team. But another client I had once had a situation like this. I'm being targeted. And I said, well, who who are the culprits? Like, is everybody? Because that was the narrative. Everybody's targeting me. Well, by the time we broke it down, there were two people, two people that were the issue in a work, you know, environment where there were probably 20 employees, let's say. Think about instead of making it so absolute, what's real so that one at a time you can confront the person, not in a aggressive way, but hey, I'd like a better working relationship with you. Let's change this dynamic. That's Again, the communication, facing it head on, communicating what you want, not the problem. Now the person has an opportunity to grow with you, or at the very least, they can be uncomfortable. Instead of you being uncomfortable holding it in, now you communicate it. They can be uncomfortable or they can grow. But don't worry about if you're targeted, something's wrong with you. Look at it like this. Either you're a leader who's triggering people that's actually a compliment. Or you're a leader who's over a certain dynamic with only one, two, maybe three people, not everyone. Don't let yourself think it's everyone. And now you've confronted, we need to do better. Let's make this relationship better for us both. And now balls in their court. But again, you led. So you don't have to be popular. You don't have to be liked. You need to be able to live with yourself and feel like you. Imposter syndrome at work is you trying to be who you think you're supposed to be versus who you are. And don't let that happen. Be you, let everybody else be them, and then lead. There it is. It is Mental Wellness Wednesday, Life Coach Rebecca Silence. Go to RebeccaSilence.com. There's so much free information to help you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve Rebecca, awesome as always. We'll talk to you next week. Love you all. And my three must-know secrets to heal and save your family masterclass applies to work. You could go to RebeccaSilence.com right now and then click on this new masterclass. And instead of it's the three must-know secrets to heal and save your family, (laughs) the three must-know secrets to heal and save your team at work, it will apply across the board. It's totally free. RebeccaSilence.com.